Where should I start? The eldest had apprenticed himself to a joiner and learned industriously and tirelessly, and when the time came for him to be on his way, his master presented him with a little table, which was not particularly beautiful and was made of common wood, but which had one good property. If anyone set it out and said, table be set, the good little table was at once covered with a clean little cloth, and a plate was there, and a knife and fork beside it, and dishes with boiled meats and roasted meats, and a great glass of red wine shone, so that it made the heart glad. Made the heart glad. That's a good line. My name is Matthew Sussman. I'm the founder of Table Donkey and Stick. Table Donkey and Stick is a Brothers Grimm fairy tale. I loved stories when I was growing up. I was a huge reader under the blanket after Lights Out. The reason why I named the restaurant Table Donkey and Stick is to bring in this element of, of storytelling, this kind of old world folk. I think restaurants are about storytelling, they're about sharing things. Ten years ago, I moved to Chicago in 2009. I just really loved bread, and I always had. I bought some books, I started a sourdough culture. A few years later, I had for about a year and a half been baking something like 40 or 50 pounds of bread, and I was selling it to friends and colleagues. I had not worked in a restaurant until after I graduated from college. The first place I staged was in this building at a restaurant that was called Bon Soiree. And over the years, I had known the owner of that restaurant. He was shutting down Bon Soiree, and so it kind of just was an opportunity that presented itself. I was 25, almost 26, kind of just jumped in the deep end and figured out how to swim. Table Donkey and Stick opened in December of 2012. The foundation for the restaurant has been our house-made naturally leavened breads and house-made charcuterie. And the traditions that we draw on are primarily from uh, the European countries around the Alps. Chef Justin's cooking is, is highly focused on seasonal products, so our menu changes very frequently. This is a really old building. These bricks have been here for something like 130 years. We have elements that, that feel old, that feel different than I think a lot of restaurants. You know, most restaurants, if they serve bread with cheese or charcuterie, serve it in little slices. We serve the whole baguette. I mean, breaking bread is, is what people do to commune with one another, to share in an experience. And so that's, that's what we're trying to create. Our first Bib Gourmand nod was for the 2015 Michelin Guide. It was really satisfying. It's definitely had an impact in, in bringing us people who are interested in what we're doing. And also it's been a great honor for, for everyone who works here to, to achieve year after year. We do our best to make this restaurant my vision of what a great restaurant is, which is a place that's comfortable, it's a place where people can gather and, and share things. It's not about pretension. It's a, you can care a lot about quality and, and you know, have some of the best food that you'll ever eat at a place like this, but it's relaxed and it's a place that's comfortable to share things. You know, I want to continue to do the same thing. I want to be a place for, for the neighborhood, for the community here. You know, this has always been a place that has really been tied to, to the things that I love about restaurants and food and, and sharing with people and it's pretty awesome to do that for seven years.